Winnemucca. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everyone. How are y'all doing today? We today, got our precious. Yeah. We got a precious little carry. She got the front row seat. There's crafting Amy. And I know Connie couldn't stay because she's got doctor visits going on, but I am, you know how I feel, Connie. God is the only one that can make things happen. Hello, Mary. And Hi, hello, Mary. Nana Cat. How are you, Hi, sweetheart? Everybody. Lincoln, hello. Today we were supposed to have bingo. When a month that happened. Yes. Keep Mara in your prayers. She's a little under the weather. Yes, please, folks. Um, so bingo has been postponed, and the names are not on the wheel. We're going to make up bingo Thursday if Mara is better. Yes. And then if she's not better by Thursday, we'll make it up next Thursday. But... Um, we won't be there next Thursday. So Maureen and I will handle it. Yeah. I hope. But my computer, <laughs> I got to figure out how to, I got to figure out how to make my computer faster. Cause I'm, hi Noe. I know it's old and I know I need a new one, but it's just not the time. I mean, you would think that no yarn in 24 would be a good year to get one, but no, nope. there's just so much other stuff. Like tomorrow we're getting a hitch put on the back of the car and um, it being the electric, it getting electric electricity from the battery to the, to the hootenanny in the back. Right. And, yeah. Anyway. So that when we when we do get a good um, lift for my wheelchair, Alexa, stop. I don't need hello, to Noe me. and Sharon. We're so happy that you're here with us today. And yes, please, folks, lots and lots of prayers for Mara. We don't need her getting sick. This is her week off. Yeah. Hi, Sharon. Anyway, um, so we just figured we'd go live at our regular time and and just confuse everybody. That's right. why it's... Besides, why it's we knew y'all couldn't go a day without seeing our beautiful faces. Hello, Pat Hi, Dancer. Pat. How are you, sweetheart? So... See, Pat said, it's always good to see us. Well, and I had the beginning of a migraine. I still have the beginning of a migraine right here. And I'm I sorry, didn't sweetheart. take anything for it. It's just, it's just at the annoying stage. Right. Sharon says, it's the end of the month, so we can relax. Where's Carrie with me, though? <laughs> Well, you know, it's spring break for a lot of folks, so even uh, the bingo caller needs a, a week off, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Hi, Don. Good morning, Don. How are you, sweetheart? So I couldn't, I couldn't even, I couldn't even remember a total oatmeal. I couldn't <laughs> even remember how to get into Google Drive to get the names to put them on a wheel. So what I decided was I will will play the fourth game for March and then we'll do the wheel. My okay. brain is on. And then um Tuesday when Tuesday when we start April we'll just start it. Well maybe we'll mix March and April together. Let's see how I feel. But we'll, well still and up, we'll still make up today's game. Yeah. Cause we enjoy we enjoy bingo like the best of us. I got a migraine yesterday and I took my meds right away. And boy was it 
Willie was like, glad I did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I really hate taking them. And it isn't a matter of. Hello, Michelle. You be careful in that car, sweetheart. Oh, big yawn. Oh, does anybody want to see the process? I took this out of timeout. Oh, good. Oh, and my I ripped, word. I ripped out three rows. Good morning, Carla. We're happy you're here, here with us. So I don't know. It it was rounding in. Uh-huh. But it got fixed. So it's out of timeout. But I wanted good. something easy to work on while I was live. So... Good. Oh, thank you, Pat. Yes, Mara, if you're watching, I took take them care already. of yourself, sweetheart. Hi, Handmaid, where have you been, sweetie P? Uh, Miss Carrie, have you taken your meds? I did. Today? I took them at I took them at six thirty. Good, good girl. Look, I'll even show you that I took them. Tuesday good morning, morning Robin. Well, good girl. Oh, no, she said she didn't take any migraine meds, little Carrie. No, I didn't take migraine meds. Because I took some on Sunday, I don't like to take them that close together. Do you take anything then as a backup to try to curb the edge? Uh-uh. Hi, Robin. No. Nope. I'm going to just start drinking water and... Oh, I can't believe it. Why mm. am I yawning? It can't be because I got up at four. I was going to say you were up at seven my time. But... I am on my one, two, three. Trisha, good morning, sweetheart. You just good listen morning, away. Trish. Yeah, you crochet your sampler blanket. Trisha's making mm. this really cool blanket that she's going to want testers for. Oh, awesome. Serious, serious blanket testers. Are you saying that for my benefit? No, but it's serious, okay. serious blanket testers because it's got um, no repeat stitches. Um, one, two, three. Uh, what she did was she had some friends pick stitches. It's not for beginners. Uh -huh. And... Uh, Absolutely, Sharon. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. I have eight done. This one's as I have from here to here to go, and then I'll have nine. I have another one that's almost done, and I have three more to go. 18, 18, different 18 different stitches. stitches. Oh my goodness. It sounds like fun, Trisha. I would love to help. Now see, that's a blanket I could get behind. Really? That's the reason why I like my Sophie. Really. Okay. Well, you're you're an experienced crocheter, so hi Froggy. Hello, Froggy. How are you, sweetheart? Hi, and Nancy. Nancy. Thank y'all so much for being here. Absolutely, Pat. Carrie, think calming, relaxing thoughts and yes, give that nasty migraine to God the healer. Oh, know, my word. Yes. My, I was talking to my mom and my mom was saying that they were saying on the nose, on the nose. 
They were on saying the on the nose, on the <laughs> news that they didn't know if it was a terrorist attack or if it was an accident. Well, we won't know until they actually get on the, are able to get on that ship. I almost called it a boat. That that bad. The barge. Uh, good morning, Molly. How are you, sweetie? Good morning, um, Molly. The barge. Yeah, until they get on the barge. They won't know until they get on there to find out why it was off course. Because if you look at it, it's supposed to channel, you know, right through the middle, but it didn't. Oh, Robin, what's your sister's name? I mean, if you don't mind sharing. Hi, Carla. Hello. Do, 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 do. I think I said hi. Allie. Allie. Okay, thank you. A L L I E. Back surgery right now. Okay, done. I said a prayer for your sister. Yep. In law. Um, Thank you for sharing, Robin. I really do appreciate that. Yeah. So what is everybody working on? Oh. Robin... Oh, you guys, I've got to show you. Robin sent a picture. She's doing the same. Um, oh, my God, I love this. Hello, one. Lulu. How I are wonder, you? I wonder if they'll um, dock me if I play his um, his music on my, you know, I don't even. Do you care? I don't care. If we have to unmonetize our well, I don't monetize yet. Sharon is working on Ninja Turtle. Oh, my word. Look. Oh, you're doing a. It's a Asteria. Oh, my gosh. But look at the colors. I am. Oh, that so beautiful. Hello, Amanda, sweetie. How are you today? Is that Thank not you, beautiful? That is really Hi, beautiful. Oh, Robin, what yarn are you using? And Mary King is doing crystals, knotted double crochet blanket. Man, that is so pretty. Oh, sorry. I keep going to my... Anyway, <laughs> that is... Do you know what yarn she's using? And the color? She is using a Halloween. Oh, Twister Halloween. Okay. Yeah, Twister Halloween. Okay. Man, it's that's pretty. Weight. And um, that is beautiful. Well, this is a one weight. And I am like not even as far as she is. I'm way far away from where she is. Yeah, but I'm glad you picked it back up this morning and fixed your little boo boo. And well, I picked it up last night, and Amanda helped me. Good. Uh, Nana Cat says I'm trying to make a peep with Chanel type yarn from Dollar Tree. Yeah, it takes some getting used to, Nana Cat. I, I, it's really, really yeah. pretty. It's going to look really pretty on her wall. And, you know, I asked her if she was going to do another one, and she said no. And I said, well, when your daughter sees it on your wall, you mm -hmm. know she's going to want one, mm -hmm. and she's going to want one yeah. to match her peacock blanket. So you're going to well, have to get her. Hey, Lydia. Good morning, Lydia. Lydia. How are you, sweetheart? You're going to have to get one with the peacock colors in it. So you're going to have to get it from Hobie. Yeah.
Blue peep? No use to work. No to. Not, not used to working with bulky yarn is what she oh. said. Good okay. morning, Sam. How are you? Hi, Sam. Okay. So. As soon as. Um, I can't remember what round she's on. I think she's on. Well, here I can look. Hello, Lisa. How are you? Thank you so much for leave, leaving your DNA. We both appreciate that so much. Uh, Got to go to the store, but I'll be back if you're still on the live. Yes, ma'am. We will be here. She's on 57 and it, she goes to 50, 68. So she's still got 11 rounds to go. Oh my Which, goodness. I know. It's like, seriously? Uh, Cindy says that Why she's working on the block stitch blanket and she's trying and trying my hook at learning the cro crochet slippers. And she says, I love your make, Carrie. Hi, Pat Cray. Hello, Pat Cray. You're at the doctor's. Oh, my goodness. She twisted her ankle and it's swollen. Oh, no. Well, sweetheart, let's just hope that all it is is a sprain. Although sometimes they really wish that you'd just go ahead and break it. So Isn't that awful? When, when Robin finishes the Asteria, we're going to work on the stunning Doily Dreamcatcher. Which really, I was seriously thinking the Asteria would just take a week. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle said, did she love the blue? Give her kisses and hugs from me. Was I fooling myself? <laughs> Yeah, I probably, well, but you know, you've got other things going on. Gary, I mean, it, it's not laugh. like you just have that one thing. Yeah. Oh, God. So, anyway, we are going to do the stunning Dolly Dream Catcher. Um, it's from Yarn Inspirations. It's a free pattern. Uh, it is. Um, I think it's an expert pattern, but it really isn't. You just have to read it line by line by line by line. You, I mean, read the whole pattern, like Trisha says. I did time one of the previous Asterias, only counting the actual crochet time. That one took 24 over took several over days. 24 hours oh over several God. days. Oh, my goodness. Exactly. <laughs> Little Carrie saying, oh, my, when was this cooked up? <laughs> what? Doing the stunning doily. Oh, um, Robin and uh, Jane want to do it. So, um, we're going to do it, and we're going to do it as soon as um, Robin is done with the Syria. I never read patterns before. Oh! Oh! Wow. Yeah, I think we started I have on the to read my also. Yeah. I have to read my patterns all the way through at least once, sometimes twice. Because I want to know what it is I'm messing with. And that way, if I read all the way through the pattern, I can put a question mark out to come back and look up. If I don't really understand what's going on, uh, make myself some notes out on the side. Yeah. Oh, you didn't break it, but you'll have to wear a boot for six weeks. Yes, ma'am. See? I'm so sorry, Pat. 
but you keep that boot on. You do exactly what the doctor tells you to, or you'll be wearing it longer. Mm -hmm. You guys, my mom had that surgery on her um, thumb joint. Uh -huh. And she went to the doctor yesterday and she was supposed to be put into a different cast. He took the cast away. She doesn't have to wear anything because she followed the rules. Hi, Judy. Hello, and, Judy. And, um, Oh, Judy. Yes, I've been seeing that in the chat, and I'm so sorry I haven't commented, but sweetheart, you have been in my prayers. What a blessing, though, that you were there. Oh, Judy, I'm so sorry. Hugs. Yes. Hmm. Oh, Handmade is working a gauge for a test pattern. Well, you go, girlfriend. This girl doesn't do test pattern or gauges. Yeah, I know you don't. This is why this girl doesn't you do thought? hard wearables. <laughs> this is oh, why my goodness. Kathleen is doing my shrug and I'm doing my mom's. Uh-huh. Yeah, prayers thank you, you all so much. Family. Oh, she's working a test gauge, uh, working up a gauge for a sweater test pattern. Well, that's awesome, sweetie. Really, really awesome. Basically, I don't like gauge, but this is the test pattern. That's why we need to do it. That's right. I always have to make a test gauge, uh, whether it's my own pattern or someone else's, because I crochet so tight. And um, normally, I know in my head that I'm going to have to compensate by going up to a bigger hook. But everyone's in a while I get lucky and I can use the recommended hook because I have tried crocheting looser but um, it just don't work next thing I know you can tell you know when you're looking at it it starts pulling back in again <laughs> hello Sandra how are you she said today's live title embodies my work day <laughs> Oh, so you've already had to change lots of hooks? I totally understand. She, um, you guys, this is going to get a little uh, adult for a, a minute. She okay. said today, I don't know. I cleaned out my ears on Saturday. Mm -hmm. They may need to be cleaned out again. But I swear oh, no. to God that she said she was gonna <laughs> she was gonna write on choice penis. But what she said was, <laughs> what she said was she had to write a bunch of subpoenas. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she said yeah, <laughs> You didn't do it fast enough, Trisha. <laughs> <laughs> it was so oh, funny. My word. Yes, we're talking about your subpoenas, Sandra. <laughs> oh, my God. It was so funny. I, I was like, oh, my God, that's so not what I, I mean, I asked her again what she said. <laughs> you said it again, and I said, "You know, that's so not what I thought you said." <laughs> and I don't know why lately my thoughts have been in the gutter. Oh, <laughs> uh, Sandra says she hadn't even been able to do them yet. And Handmade said so many different variations <sighs> that even the same hook but different brands. Yes, you know, uh, 
you can get, let's say, a G hook from Clover, Bates, uh, Boy, Furls, and they can make a difference. I mean, they really can. Even within the furls, I have and tulip. Uh, and, tulip. and the tulip. Yes, I have a um, G hook. One is in the teak wood, and one is in the purple heart. And yeah, dumb little bunny me. And I'm thinking. Well, you know, they're both a. Carry. They're both an I. So you know, they ought to work. No, 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 no. No, and then I even got to looking at the um, the heads themselves, and one of them the throat is just a little bit thicker than the other one. So different stitch. Winnemucca. <laughs> it's another, another way of saying the F word. The F word. That's right. Ooh. Oh, little Carrie saying, uh, "What about the saying what stays in Zoom, huh?" What said in Zoom? That, it was me that said it, so I'm just ratting on myself. <laughs> Little Carrie says that word is way too close, Sandra. Wait yes. a mother. I think she's talking about subpoenas. Yeah. See, so I don't have to have just a dirty mind to think. To go from boom <laughs> from A to B to get C. I don't have it's yeah. not that far to go. No, nope. I swear to God, I don't know where I got Troy, but I mean, my daughter's boyfriend's name is Troy, and I would oh God, never mind. Anyway, <laughs> chasing another squirrel, huh? Anyway. Uh, Sandra says, sorry, I forget people don't understand my words in my southern accent. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's a southern belle. Yeah, yes. It points a picture for you. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh. Anyway, moving on. So, yes, please. <laughs> after this, we need a devotion. <laughs> so I know some of you have told us what you're you're working on. What about the rest of you? Are you all finished with your little Easter projects? I got to turn... Do not disturb them. They're going crazy in chat. Hello, Teresa DP. How are you doing today, sweetie? Hi, Teresa. Okay, seriously, we're going to do the devotional if I can find it. Okay. Okay. The devotional is good at any time. Um. Oh. Did anybody get Siren Atlas? Hi, Faith mine's, Louise. Mine's supposed to be here by Thursday. Good morning, Faith Louise. How are you doing, sweetheart? Oh, you are? I can't wait to see that, little Carrie. Yes, she's at work. Uh, little Carrie says she'll get hers back to... Oh, Teresa, she's taking Ben back to urgent care again. Sweetheart. Now what for? You too, Pat Cray. Thank you so much for checking in on us. A perfect yarn for mittens. Teresa DP. Nifty set. Nifty said, Maureen and Carrie, if I find it so hard to shop for yarn, what do you think would be a perfect yarn for mittens? I don't make mittens, so. Um, 
Well, when I make them, I like for them to be warm. So I do use wool or a wool blend. Um, I've just now been working some with Superwash Merino and I really like it. So I think this next year when I make my grandkids um, mittens for this next year, because you know, they're growing, um, I'll probably go to it. Hi, Echo. Hello, Echo. How are you, sweetheart? I'm sorry. I was trying to hurt his knee. Oh, his knee's been hurting for three days now. Oh, sweetheart. I don't know. After what he's done the last couple of days, I might let it hurt. Uh-oh. No, no, no. She's being a good person. She's going to take him to the doctor and let it... Oh, goodness. I'm a mean mom, though. No, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> okay, me. I might take him in. Tell him I said that. Carrie might not even take you to the doctor for what you did. Uh oh. Anyway, okay. Um, day 86. This is the 86th day of the year. Love our neighbors as ourselves. Amen. I got flair too. Oh my God, you guys. We got to go over the flair. Okay. You shall not take vengeance or bear a grudge against any of your people, but you shall love your neighbors as your shall, as, as your shall. I haven't been drinking, I promise, except for coffee. You shall love your neighbors as yourself. I am the Lord. Leviticus 19. 18. Today we pray that you help us embrace the ancient command to love our neighbors as ourselves. Today we pray that you expand our understanding of our neighbor to include everyone everywhere. We pray that you help us today develop healthy self-esteem and self-care practices among these, we pray that you release us from every grudge that we might be holding today. Free us from the desire to retaliate or seek vengeance or re retribution on anyone who has harmed or attempted to harm us. Dear God, we pray that you enable and inspire us to live in love today in your name we pray amen amen what happened well pat cray was going to for um x-rays yeah and to get fitted for a boot let's see uh, Something happened with Echo. Oh, yes, she's. Oh, um, she fell Sunday <gasps> and, tore her, and tore her Achilles heel. She says, "I'm in a big boot, and I'll see the orthopedic doctor later this afternoon." Teresa said, "Mittens depend on whether they're knitted or crocheted, and how thick you want them to be." I do a. Okay, wait a minute. A three or four weight for my fingerless gloves. We have that book. Uh, hello, Darcia. I did not see you jump in there earlier. Hi, Darcia. I didn't see you either. Ooh. Sharon says, healthy self-esteem. Ha, ha, ha. Not for me today. I'm good. I'm doing very well, Darcia. Thank you so much for asking. I need more oxygen in my brain, so I keep yawning. I got the Granny Square Flare book by Shelly Husband. Let us see it. Just a minute. Let me. There we go. Look at those Granny Squares. Aren't they gorgeous? And it looks like they're done in um, thread. Oh, no, 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 no. Not Maureen. <laughs> no, not Carrie either. But 
and they're not. They're just done in like an egg crew. Okay. Um, so it, this is a beginner friendly book because nice. it tells you what you need to know, how to begin a square, my seamless crochet tips, starting chain, um, alternate, alternative, alternate, alternative. Yeah. Um, here's how to do it. And then it, I mean, it. Yes, they're very good about giving you stitches in the front or the back sometimes. And then it says changing colors, joining method, slip stitch, standing stitch, wear rounds, end and begin. And you guys, so this square you can see right here is yeah. where, and this square you can't see at all. Right, and that's so nice that they show you that. So, I'm going to have to read that because you can always tell where mine are. Size. Echo says, a, huh? Echo says, I'm a super beginner. I don't know how to do anything yet. Well, sweetheart, there are lots of channels out there for you to go and look at. I mean, I know you know that. But um, there's also lots of folks in here that will be more than happy to, to help Echo. you if you just reach out to us. Join one of the uh, Zoomy groups. I mean... Yes. Oh, Echo, you just need to, um, yeah, start looking on YouTube. Um, Maureen has some stitch, some stitches. If you want to do granny squares, um, she's got, Maureen's got stitch tutorials. Um, I have the basics, but there's more than just me out there. I mean, you know. Um, but Maureen's a good teacher. She's got experience in teaching. Um, there are, there's, um, Chris creative Day, grandma, great yarnery. There's what creative grandma, creative grandma, um, bag of day. Yes. Yes. Uh, nifty that's why i suggest the uh, superwash merino because it will be strong it will be warm but it also has a very i don't when i say light texture i mean it's soft of course wool is soft too but i mean right after you've uh, worked with it but yes there you go faith louise uh tl yarn craft yes tl yarn craft too she's really good I said I normally suggest creative grandma to very new beginners to give them a second alternative to myself. I mean, when they ask me, but um, because I know that she gets irritating to a lot of people, but she is very slow and meticulous. So I love her. Well, I do too. She doesn't bother me at okay. all, but I do know that she, um, uh, as a lot of other folks too. Yes, Echo, right there. Froggy just dropped uh, Bag o Day's channel for you. Froggy, because she has lots. too. Please. Okay, you guys. Crochet style. It it tells you about crochet style. Ways to match sizes. Uh, joining, blocking, adjust the pattern, hook size. A note on hook and square size colors. Um, God, there's a lot of stuff to read here. How to read the pattern and how to read the patterns and charts. Where's Jane at? That's good. Um, now, that's really, really nice. Symbols, difficulty rating, yard requirements, infinity symbol. What does it mean? This means that the pattern can be repeated endlessly, increasing the number of stitches each round to create a square as large as you desire. Notes to extend these squares are included. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, see, learn something new every day. 
Um, no special stitches and tips, written patterns. Here's an example of a written pattern. So it gives you that and it's written out. Um, brackets, how to read brackets and understand them. And then there's notes and then charts. Um, other things to note about the written patterns. Echo, I always tell uh, folks to start with like uh, Red Heart. Walmart has a very good acrylic four-way, their mainstay, and start with a J-hook. And then their finishing tips, blocking, steam blocking, wet blocking, joining, single crochet on back, um, single crochet on front. See, I like the single crochet on front. That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. Zip join. A word about stitch counts. Um, border, a simple border pattern. And a simple border pattern is five rounds. Wow. You're so welcome, Oka, uh, Echo. Sorry. And that's the first... 19 pages and then it goes into the patterns and it's got 50 um 50 squares oh how pages. nice look at that and they even give you pictures of what they should each look like that's great and then it gives you and then it gives you like this one is called deco this one is called Deco, oh, and it gives you the, the chart. Uh, yeah, the chart so that you can learn to read charts. And it gives you the yes. chart. So it's written. Now, I can't remember what the balls of yarn at the top mean. It means your, uh, the weight of the, of the yarn. Where they look like little skeins? No, they're yarn balls. See, like this one has two. Well, that might mean the level. Because like this, is, this is... Um, uh, that one looks like a little more intricate. Uh, uh, the little yarn balls up there may represent like skill level. Maybe. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's 46 yards, so that's definitely in thread. But anyway, Hello, Ellie. How are you today, sweetie? Hi, Ellie. How are you? Okay, Echo. Very good, Echo, girl. You can always email me if you have any questions, and I could do my best to help you or direct you to the right person who could help you. Exactly. Um, Same here, Echo. Yeah, because we're here to help. But I mean, it's got, it's got, I don't know why I'm yelling. I'm sorry. It's got the written pattern and it's got the um, chart so you can learn to read charts. This is a really good book for learning to read a chart and to read a pattern. And they really yes. do help to read a pattern. Well, I like and, all that information there at the very beginning. I mean, you know, for them to take the time out to fill it with 19 pages. Yeah. And I like awesome. what it tells you if you want to do it in thread, how it tells you how much thread it should take. That's good. And there's then no way I'd be making those in thread. Circles. This one is crop circles. Oh, I love that. It's three, it's mm -hmm. level three. So that would be. And it's advanced. 42 yards. I don't, I don't think it said. I don't, I didn't notice. Hello. Okay. Oh, Dory, how are you today, sweetie? One ball on. One ball and hook is easy. Two is intermediate. Three is more advanced. Yeah. Okay. 
But there's one in here that I really, really like, and I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to put it up. But they also have in here, before I get too carried away, they also have in here a Melbourne wrap, and it gives you um, the pattern. It says, and it's a beginner wrap. What you'll make, it's a shawl or a wrap. It's um, 72 inches long, um, 18 and a half inches wide. The yarn, it's Sheepies Our Tribe, four ply, fingering weight, 70% superwash merino, 30% polymide, one ball, 100 grams, 460 yards, or, and four balls of... L Lila Bonjon color and it's 1745 yards use a three millimeter hook which is a D and this is what you're making it's a bunch I don't want to lose my well I'll find it again oh how pretty so you're making a bunch of squares and then you're putting them together and then at the end of each one is a big square i think mm -hmm, that's what it looks like hello diana how are you hi diana and i saw sandra sc she's a working it is a beautiful so, i mean it's got a couple then it's got the dahlia scarf and it's a intermediate and it tells you how big it is and it tells you what yarn they use size of hook and the instructions and then they got a sunshine cow and i'll show you these there's the cow and that's there's the star. so they've got a lot of stuff in here you guys besides They've got coasters. They've got a hot pot, a hot, hot shot pot holder. Say that fast <laughs> 15 times. And then there are the coasters. So I'm almost positive that's out of cotton. Oh, hello, Jennifer. But she has to go because she's getting a tattoo today. Well, Hi, Jennifer. good for you, girlfriend. That's all I can say. It is an awesome book, isn't it, Ellie? Okay, now here's a better picture of that um, first item that I showed you. Pick it up just a little bit. There you go. Oh, look at that big square there on the end. That looks like a small mandala. So, yeah, it's very pretty. Well, it's a big square. Mm -hmm. so, Good morning, Diamond is. Ring. How are you, sweetheart? Hi, Joan. Oh, no, no bingo. I have a migraine and Mara is sick. Okay. Ouch. Okay, this is one of my favorites. Oh, yes. I like that one, and I really like the uh, the circles in the field, whatever that uh -huh. was called. There's another, there's a whole bunch of them, but here's a petal one that sticks out. Oh, that's pretty. There's a really big one that. Uh, Joan is asking, what is this? Um, Oh, that's really pretty. I like that one. Okay. Uh, Michelle's Diana been a member for two months. I know. Diana D um, says, is she also coming down sick? Uh, Joan says, I have half a headache too. Okay, Echo. Sinus, what is this doily you're going to make from Yarn Inspirations? It's called the, it's this one right here. Yeah. <clears throat> It's called the Stunning Doily Dreamcatcher. 
Awesome. <laughs> Little Carrie's focusing on trying to stay healthy for her trip. Understand that. The book is called, it's, it's by Shelly Husband, who also did The Cove, which we're doing in August or September. Um, it's called Flare. Granny Square Flare. And it's all Granny Squares. And it's a really good... Here's another one that's really cool looking. Hello, Janice. She says she's been lurking. Isn't that pretty? Um, hi, Janice. Okay, so somebody asked something and I didn't get it. Uh, Echo asked what would be an easy thing to make as a beginner. Hi, Dory. Yeah, Dory was here. I'm uh, sorry. I started uh, with a blanket, so I'm not one to ask what's easy to start with. Little Carrie says, I don't think I've got enough one way to join your dream catcher, but I'll cheer y'all on. Janice says she's been lurking, so we're happy to have you in here ways. with us. Hold on a minute. Somebody. I think that was. Uh, Jones question, but I'm going back up. Uh, Jones said no bingos. Okay, so we're th good there. Okay. Um, I'm using a four weight. I'm going to use shawl in the ball, which is what I used here. I use shawl in the ball. Robin says a headband. Um, yeah. Hello, Mateo. Good. How are you today? Hi, Mateo. A headband is good. Um, I also like <clears throat> like square coasters um, or pot holders or wash pot. pot. Mm -hmm. Yes, there you go, Ellie. Dish cloths, granny squares, coasters. Yes. It is a four weight. Yep. Not really, though, but they call it a four weight. More because of the, it's got a slight halo to it. A scarf, yes. Doing good, my team. I normally. Doing good. I normally wait on granny squares until after they've got, you know, some other projects underneath their belt because that's starting them out with uh, working in the round. And so I, I tend that that's just me. I tend to give that a little bit. There you go. I taught my niece. I had her make a chain as long as her arms band, then a row of each as she learned it stitches then repeated to make a scarf exactly sandra good morning katie good morning katie how are you doing how's your stress level maybe that's what i should be asking i'm gonna put this back up there please thanks because, you know, you can make lots of really pretty items with just the basic stitches. Especially if you get a, a brightly colored yarn or, or you get one that's variegated. You don't want fancy stitches with those things anyway. Well, you're so welcome, Echo. Like we said, we're here to help one another. Because that's how we learn. Stress is high, but I'm managing. Well, that's great, Katie. You about caught up on your, um, I don't want um, special orders. Making scrap bags as I wait on fabric and lining. Well, there you go.
you make scrap bags with your material and I make scrap bags with my yarn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michelle is now waiting in the car, waiting for her to get done. Well, good deal. Oh. So I hope everyone has some fantastic plans for this afternoon. Yeah. I mean, it is only Tuesday, but still. Oh, I know. It's going to be drizzly here. Well, we're supposed to have lots of sunshine. The highest percentage of rain is 5%, but it is windy out there. I think it's for He's knocking those dead palm leaves out of the trees like, like crazy. Oh, I wasn't asking uh, as far as my stuff was concerned, <laughs> Katie. <laughs> Bless your heart. All special orders have only half of the fabric arriving. Yours are all cut out, Maureen. Awesome. Well, thank you for that update. Carrie, half of your fabric is here. Cool. And little Carrie is asking you, Carrie, what bags did you get? I got the cuss words on the outside. <laughs> I should have her make a bag with Winnemucca on it. I'm thinking she'd probably have to design that and then find someone to. Oh, pink sweary is in. Well, I'll be darned. Mm, wow. Which one more so, the color or the sweary? <laughs> oh, Molly, I, I am so oh, dear, jealous. Molly. She's going to go help her mom in the garden. Oh, you have a great time, sweetheart. <laughs> Carrie says, I forgot which one. Which you already had. I'm getting confused on the bags. Oh, heavy canvas and crochet is also in. Well, that's good. I love a, a good canvas bag. Cool. Yes, you do, Diana. And Darcia wants to see what you're working on. Let me put you big. Just a sec. Just a sec. There we go. The Willow Square. I'm making them. I'm making 12 10 inch squares, 11 to trade. And this is number nine. And I have 10 in the box. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, you're almost oh, caught up with your 12. 12. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Let's see. Uh, little Carrie asked, Katie, is that heavy canvas crochet on your Etsy? I want to see it. Katie said it's so pretty. Oh, you're talking about her. Willow Square. Yes, Diana. Now, uh, I don't know if you know for sure, but Katie does have two shops. One is called the Naughty Knitting Sacks, and the other one is the... Fuzzy Sheep. Fuzzy Sheep. Thank you. I kept seeing sheep, but I couldn't... Remember Fuzzy. 
She has the naughty knitting sack for us naughty people. <laughs> and the fuzzy sheep for us not so naughty. Uh, oh, that would be great, Katie. She's going to take a, a picture and post it to her uh, Instagram account. Account. Good morning, Alley Cat. How are you, sweetie? Good morning, Alley Cat. You swing both ways. <laughs> uh, Katie, can you drop uh, the link to both of your Etsy shops? Please? Well, her link, it just dropped. Naughty Knitting Sacks. Oh. Just dropped on my channel. Well, there you go. Shop Bags for Projects with Katie. Go right up above Darcia's comment, Diana. Thank you. I'm not a really big fan of pink either. Yeah, pink's not my thing. Well, hello there, DOI. How are you? Thank you so much for being here. Hi, Jeanette. Oh, another one bites the dust. Yep. And there she goes. She's off and running for a second one. Second one of the day. That's awesome. You'll be through with those in no time. I know. Then I got to soak them. And I think I only have eight. Um, I got to figure out how many um, blocking pads I have so I can soak them and then have my caregiver put them in the dryer. And stay up there at the dryer so that they can just, well, actually, I'll just steam them. That would yeah. be easier on the blocking pads. Uh, Allie Cat says that she's working on a butterfly gnome for a nature center. That sounds awesome. Oh, for a nature center fundraiser. Well, that sounds good. Uh, Katie said, I could ask and see if the sweary come in other colors. I, I would love a purple or a green. I would love a purple or a teal. <laughs> mm. I knew the purple would get you. Mm -hmm. Teal would be pretty too. I mean, I like pink, but. I, I'm not a pink person. I <laughs> can't type. <laughs> yes, Katie says, ooh, teal. Wouldn't that be mm -hmm. pretty? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Amen, Darcia. Prayers for everyone and their families in Baltimore. Yeah, that's ooh, awful. Teresa, prayers for Ben. She's headed in. Yeah, prayers for now. Ben. I would take him. I was kidding. I'm just disappointed in his actions. Well, the clock does say that we've been here for an hour. So I want to say thank you all so, so much for being here with us today. Even though we didn't get to play bingo, let's hope that we can get it together for Thursday. Those of you that have been lurking, I hope that we've been able to keep you up with what was going on in the chat. But we also want you to know that we appreciate your time as well. And anyone that's catching this on the replay, thank you so much. Just leave us a little comment and your thumbprint on both channels to let us know that you took some time to see what we got up to today and to let us know that you stopped in. 
So we love you all. We greatly appreciate again, like I said, your time. And I'm going to go ahead and say, please remember, be the light out there in the darkness for someone today, because you never know, could be your special light that they need to see. We That's truly right. love you all. And what are we going to say here at the end? When I'm muck <laughs> It's been one of them kind of days, you guys. I love you. Be a blessing, you guys. And have a great day. Amen. See you guys later. Bye now. <laughs>